Good evening to all. Yes, change from the regular routine of meeting every day at 3 p.m. We today meet quite late at 7.30 p.m. Uh, many thanks to the today's speaker, uh, Mr. Vinod Kumar, for uh, offering to give his talk today in spite of his very busy uh, preoccupation with official duties. Uh, we start the program without any delay. I think we have enough uh, strength now. 28 people already logged in. More people trying to log in. Meanwhile, we'll get going. I invite Mr. Dilip Madhavan from LNG Petrolnet to deliver the welcome address. Over to you, Dilip, for the welcome address and coordinating this program. Welcome, Dilip. Very uh, well. Thank you, sir. Uh, very good evening. Am I audible as well as visible? Yes, sir. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, so a uh, warm welcome once again uh, uh, to the uh, uh, new session on uh, the webinar series on uh, National Safety Week. And uh, uh, today we have a special guest, a very eminent personality. Uh, let me introduce, uh, uh, take the opportunity to introduce him uh, to you all. Uh, Sri Vinod Kumar, sir, uh, the Motor Vehicles Inspector of Sub-Regional Transport Office North Power, who is with us. Uh, welcome, sir. Uh, sir, is, uh, basically after completing the diploma in automobile engineering from uh, Government Polytechnic, Kalamshiri, uh, Sri Vinod Kumar has done his B.Tech degree in Mechanical Engineering from Government Engineering College, Trishur. And he also pursued his M.Tech in uh, Mechanical Production Engineering from QSAT. And he is, uh, uh, is also a PhD research scholar part-time in QSAT. Uh, his working experience is uh, multifold and he has worked in uh, Lacosi, Toyota Motors, Ford Cars. He is also a le guest lecturer in Mechanical Engineering in Government Engineering College, uh, uh, Government Model Engineering College at Nagalam. He has worked as lecturer in Mechanical Engineering in Adi Shankara Institute of in, uh, Engineering and Technology. Uh, he's uh, presently working as a motor vehicles inspector in the Kerala Motor Vehicles Department uh, since 2006. Uh, he has conducted various awareness programs on uh, road safety and safe driving. Uh, he is a zonal secretary of Kerala Motor Vehicles Department Gazetted Officers Association. Uh, so uh, you, uh, uh, there is an endless list of expertise and uh, academic qualification which uh, sir is processing. And uh, today we have, uh, we are proud to have you, sir, with us, uh, uh, among us, to uh, give a very enlightening session on uh, uh, road safety, which is gaining more and more popularity uh, as the uh, uh, days and years progresses. Uh, even after, if I'm uh, uh, right, uh, even after so much of awareness and uh, campaigns, we still have road safety as one of the primary reason for injuries as well as deaths uh, across the state as well as the country and the world as such. And a huge uh, lot of uh, 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 money and income is wasted, uh, I would say, uh, for uh, uh, the rehabilitation as well as the treatment uh, related to road safety. So it's a huge loss to the nation's economy as well. Uh, uh, let us, uh, without much delay, go directly to uh, listen to Sir what Sir has to say. Uh, just to remind all the participants, uh, keep please keep your mobile phones on mute. Uh, keep yourself on mute mode. And we will be happy to, so we'll be happy to uh, answer to any of your queries uh, after the end of the session. So please hold on or park your questions uh, for the time being. And uh, uh, I think uh, without much delay, we'll, we'll, we're all excited to listen to you, sir. Over to you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Dilip, sir. Very good evening, one and all present here. I extend my sincere gratitude to the National Safety Council for inviting me for a small lecture based on the road safety and the safe driving. So today I'm going to present uh, the key features of driving. That means uh, definition of driving. Then vehicle statistics in Kerala, including the category wise growth of vehicles in Kerala. Then some accident statistics then general idea about safety and uh, driving, then mot some uh, motor vehicles act uh, law point of view, then uh, some of the offenses that uh, we come across on the road and uh, its penalties, and uh, new trends in motor vehicles department, that means uh, the new software which we are using right now, and uh, the new uh, enforcement method known as each land that we are using right now. 
so let me uh, do my presentation uh, sir i'm going to present yes sir is it visible not yet ah yeah i think you can put it in presentation mode it's visible now yes, yes. Uh, right yes. now it's okay 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 so let me start with the the general overview kerala so you know the total area when you consider kerala the total area is uh, around 38863 uh, square kilometer in this area this small area uh, total number of uh, vehicle population is around 1.53 crores you know the human population is 3.58 crores in kerala and the average population density per square kilometer is 859 persons in that same particular area the vehicle density is 521 that means 521 vehicles per square kilometer area when you take 1 km length and 1 km width that that area contains uh, 521 vehicles that is a uh, average statistics in kerala then when we come to the average accidents in kerala per year is around 40000 to 45000 and average injuries per year is around 45000 to 55000 the average deaths per year is around 4000 to 4200 uh, last two years we are not going to consider because uh, corona season so many uh, days were uh, locked down so we are not considering the last two years up to 2020 2020 sorry 2019 up to 2019 the average death rate is 4000 to 4200 and coming to the driving have you heard about the definition of driving i will show you the definition of driving to move or travel on land in a motor vehicle especially as the person controlling the vehicle's movement this is the definition of driving in this definition uh, there are so many uh, words so do you think that which way well, which word is most important in this definition all of uh, all of us will say controlling or person controlling that is very important in the case of driving without that control vehicle may come accident so person controlling is the key point of uh, that definition so here you can see two lines first line is controlled in a cage and the second line is uncontrolled so suppose you are asked to um, go very close to one of the lines which one should be selected so controlled line should be selected so we are very sure that we will not get any damage when we when we very, when we go very close to the controlled line the same uh, same thing is there in the case of driving also if the way the driver is more controlled uh, while driving then there will not be any accident that is a scenario and the traffic management system there are five e's um, earlier it was three only three e's right now it was uh five years first year stands for engineering as you know second year stands for education third year stands for enforcement and fourth fourth year stands for evaluation and the last year stands for emergency care engineering you know the construction of roads and the technology behind uh, the vehicle uh, education is awareness activities uh, i am taking a session here it is based on the awareness activities of motor vehicles department enforcement what, what we uh, make uh, it's a land or something like that that is called enforcement evaluation the study uh, involved uh, all these parameters uh, which can be considered as evaluation and emergency care how to transport one accident victim from the spot to the hospital all these things are considered in emergency care so let's see one indian road over here it's a video presentation you just see the uh, video this is a road right now in kerala nobody is going to obey the traffic rules you look at this scenario over here in kerala right now so there is no first come first serve method everyone has his own or their own priority on the road that is a fact 
So this is the present scenario of Kerala roads. And you know, the vehicle growth in Kerala has been increased very rapidly. Uh, when we consider this uh, graph, number of vehicles on the y-axis and uh, a year on the x-axis, you can see one crore vehicles reached in the year 2016. Right now, 2021-22, one crore 53 lakhs vehicles are there in Kerala. That is the present scenario. A category-wise growth of vehicles in Kerala from 1960 to 2021. The last column stands for total number of vehicles in lakhs. In 1960, there were only 24,000 vehicles, but right now, 2021, last uh, 1 crore 52 lakhs vehicles. The second column stands for the goods vehicle, the total number of goods vehicle, including all goods vehicle. In 1960, it was only 5,128, and 2021, last, it is uh, more than 13 lakhs. For buses, including all the buses, stage carriages, contract carriages, then school buses, every uh, buses considered, uh, 1960, it was only 3,511. Right now, no, nearly 10 lakhs vehicles are operated. In the case of car, jeep, taxis, in 1960, there were only 13,000, nearly 13,000 vehicles. But uh, now the system... Um, to car, jeep, taxis, total around more than 30 lakhs vehicles operating here in Kerala. And two wheelers, <clears throat> it's very interesting. In 1960, there were only 2,064 two wheelers. <clears throat> but <clears throat> the last year, 2021, nearly one crore vehicles are there uh, operating in two, two, us two wheelers. You know, around, around 70, around 69, 70 percentage of vehicles operating here in Kerala are two wheelers. That is the present vehicle statistics. So this is a picture taken in 1960. It's a very famous junction in Arnagulam, known as Panambali Nagar. You can see that Panambali Nagar on the wall, compound wall. And uh, there is a building uh, on the top of the building. Uh, there is uh, there, there are two letters, M and M, M. That means my, Malayala Manorama building, old building. <coughs> At that time also, the roads were very uh, big and median, medians were there. and uh, the, at that time, the car which was operating on the road, which was a Mark II ambassador car. And two, four years uh, back, uh, we took a photo of Panambali Nagar. The road size has not been increased. But only thing, the building construction and the encroachment, everything has been increased. This is the um, present situation right now. And e every day when we see the newspapers, you can see accidents motor motorcycle accident car accident um, heavy vehicles accident every each and every uh, newspaper you can see this type of accidents reported and this is a video <coughs> and uh, you can see a main road or national highway road and here what happened was uh, a two wheeler two wheeler rider uh, was entering to the mainstream of the road without uh, seeing anything, without seeing the car. So you can see that video. The car was moving from uh, that side. It was a national highway. At the same time, a two-wheeler came to hit the vehicle. So all these types of accidents were occurred only because of a small error or small offense committed by the driveways. <clears throat> Here, this, this is also again a video which was taken from a junction. Um, there was a red light at the junction. At that time, uh, we can see all the vehicles which were uh, stopped in a line and uh, the vehicles were obeying the line discipline at uh, the junction. But normally at that time, we can see so many two wheelers which were not um, stopping at the um, junction. So their intention was to cross the junction. So you can see that accident happened in this junction. It was only because of the brake failure of the vehicle coming from the rear side. So you just see the container lorry coming from the rear side. So what happened was brake failure occurred in the vehicle. And this was the accident occurred in the junction. So we are very sure that there should, should not be any overtaking during curved portion of the road or any other main curves. Here also, same type of uh, accidents you can see on the road. 
there was a curb road and the vehicle that two wheeler was overtaking at the curb so that was the reason for the accident you know this accident this is a, an accident take uh, happened in uh, tamil nadu you know the vehicle was moving with a speed the two wheeler was moving with a speed more than 130 kilometers per hour and uh, you know the vehicle was moving that much speed then what happened to the head of the driver we can't imagine anything right that was the accident happened in tamil nadu in most of the two wheelers uh, nowadays you can see uh, um, start button starter button or kick without kick starter we can start the vehicle so this vehicle this is also a video taken from uh, north india and uh, this two wheeler has a st uh, start button or that means self starter button and they a father and a small lady, a small kid they were um, that, that kid was standing on the floor and uh, what happened you can see the video you just see what happened at that time so this type of accidents uh, that we can see in our our houses also so this was an accident occurred uh, in calicut so you know the actor jagdish rigumar uh, was uh, in the vehicle and um, what happened in this case was uh, the driver couldn't see the median at the center of the road it was a night time so he could not see the uh, median that was the cause of accident in this case and here it is this is a video it is taken uh, from uh, abroad and uh, the place where uh, keep right was a rule so the vehicles were moving through the right side and uh, pedestrians were moving through the left side so that that is a normal rule adopted in uh, keep right rule uh, places so in this case the vehicle was parking near the near the side of the road at that time the driver was sitting at the left side of the uh, vehicle and suddenly the driver opened the door let's see what happened so a major accident occurred during the during that time the driver was opening the door of the vehicle front door of the vehicle at the time we have motorcycle was coming from the rear side yes the same type of accidents can be seen here in kerala also and this type this is a big accident occurred in arnagulam city and the lady um, lady was uh, uh, trying to cro cross the road just in front of the uh, bus that also you can see it was a major accident occurred in arnagulam yes so this is a scene captured by a cctv camera all these all, all these type of accidents are taken from uh, foreign countries there are the speed limit around 130 140 kilometers per hour so at that time uh, the major accidents will be occurred this have this accident of occurred in kerala so most of the cars have reverse camera right now when we consider maruti vehicles the top end model has only the built in reverse camera the beginning stage vehicles um, don't have any reverse, reverse camera so right now we can consider this reverse camera as a safety instrument so this is a video uh, which reveals the importance of reverse camera this black color car doesn't, doesn't have a reverse reverse camera a small kid was coming and seeing the vehicle in the rear side at that time the vehicle was taking reverse if the vehicle had picked with the reverse camera then the driver inside the vehicle could see the obstruction just behind the car and some beep sounds may also come from the car so that can be this type of accidents can be avoided by fixing a reverse camera so reverse camera is a mandatory one in most of the foreign countries it is mandatory but in india we have not considered this reverse camera as a mandatory one then total number of persons killed in road accidents in india as per user categories 
you know two wheelers are the majority cases 31.5 percentage accidents occurred in two wheelers remaining all other vehicles are there but majority is in the case of two wheelers when we consider the human on the road these are the th three categories uh, on the road all, all of us use roads as driver passenger and a pedestrian how safe are you this is a video taken from tamil nadu you just see the video after that i will tell you i am going to give you a good idea about the stopping side distance So that was a video how we have avoided the accident. The idea is very simple. The two drivers um, applied brakes at the right time. That's the uh, reason for the um, without accident. So I am going to explain uh, stopping side distance based on that video. So this is a car coming from one side and uh, another man who is standing there at the front of the car. And uh, the intention of the driver is to stop the car before the man and suppose, suppose not to hit the man. That is the uh, fact. So what I'm going to do is there are some, uh, some reasons which we can consider in this case is first one is when the car moves with a speed of 60, you just give an example. This car is coming with a speed of 60 kilometer per hour. And at that time, the driver of the car uh, see the man who is standing at the front of the car. And at that time, the driver's eye is the uh, main thing that which we can see the uh, man at the front of the car. And that eye, the eye will give us give a signal to the brain of the driver. Then brain will give another signal to the leg. Then leg will come on the clutch pedal, sorry, brake pedal, and uh, the pedal will be uh, applied and the vehicle will be stopped. That is, these are the process that we are going to consider here. And for the first thing, I am going to split these two things into uh, two categories. The first category is first point or the first stage and second stage. The first stage is termed as reaction time. When the driver sees something on the road or some obstruction on the road, the eye will send the eye of the driver will send a signal to the brain and the brain will give another signal to the leg. So there must be some time. That means a fraction of a second or maximum one second can be taken for uh, getting that response. That time is known as reaction time. So when the car, car moves with the speed of 60 km per hour and the reaction time of that driver is one second, then that car will move or that car will cover a distance of 16.66 meters. And that distance is called a lag distance. And that lag distance is the distance traveled during the reaction time, during reaction time. So when the car moves with a speed of 60 kilometers per hour, one second is the reaction time of the driver, then that car will cover 16.66 meters. It is only a math, only mathematical calculation. So after that lag distance, we are going to apply the brake. So when we apply the brake, the vehicle will not stop suddenly. So some time is required for stopping the vehicle. So that time is known as braking time. This is the braking time and this is the distance covered by the vehicle during that period and that distance is called the braking distance or distance traveled after the application of brakes. And after this braking distance, uh, um, the vehicle uh, will not uh, um, uh, 
collide with the man standing on the, at the front of the vehicle, then we can say that the vehicle has stopped. Vehicle has been stopped safely. So these two distances are called combined together. Are called stopping side distances. So it's it's very important stopping side distance. So most of the manufacturers nowadays they are advertising like this. This vehicle will. Uh, or this vehicle will move with a speed 0 to 300 in just 11.92 seconds. This is the way of advertisement that we are seeing right now. And here comes the uh, reaction time, 60 kilometer per hour. If the reaction time is one second, the vehicle will cover 16.66 meter per second. If the speed increased to 70, then the reaction uh, in, during that reaction time, the vehicle will cover 19.44. If the vehicle speed is 80 km per hour, the distance, cover, distance covered by the vehicle in one second is 22.22. If it is 90, 25 meter per second is the distance covered by the vehicle in second. 100 km per hour, 28 uh, meter per second is the distance covered by the vehicle in one second. So based on the speed, you know, the kinetic energy is uh, the energy of motion. So the formula for the kinetic energy is, you know, half mv square. If the mass doubled, the kinetic energy will be doubled, but the velocity or the speed increases. So if velocity doubled, the kinetic energy will be quadrupled or quadruple the kinetic energy. So that is, a that is an important factor when we consider the speed of the vehicle. Here, look at the pedestrian. This is a video taken from foreign country, and the, the car has been stopped because of some uh, red light or something like that. The car has been stopped there. You know, if any car coming from the rear side of the car, that car also has to stop the uh, stop line before the stop line, and uh, that car should obey line discipline also. But what happened here in, in this video is, the car coming from the rear side of this car um, just crossed the red light. So at that time, you would just see what happened to the pedestrian. That pedestrian was just, uh, moving very slowly at extreme left side of the road. And uh, he did not even look on the road or something. Or he's, 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 you just see that. This type of accidents can be seen on the road. And uh, here, this is an intersection here, there. It is also taken from a foreign country. And there, uh, most of the road uses are two wheelers. How they are managing a junction, that also you can see from this. Video. There is no land discipline or there is no any other rules or regulations they are adopting in the junction and that's why in india we have constructed junctions like this by using road markings and it and uh, traffic islands stop lights uh, stop lines pedestrian crossings everything you can see in the junction in india so we have to obey traffic laws like by using this you know zebra lines for pedestrian crossing uh, the rule behind this zebra lining is the when, a, when, a, when a pedestrian stands on the zebra line, he is considered as the king of the road. The first priority must be given to that pedestrian. So the law behind that is the vehicle has to stop and uh, uh, let, let the pedestrian cross the road. After that only the vehicle has to start. But uh, nobody is uh, caring about this uh, law in India. You know how dangerous this zebra crossing. This is also a video taken from a uh, country. It's a tedious task to cross the uh, road by using a zebra line. So two persons were trying to cross a zebra line. You can see no vehicles are going to stop. Yes. 
so when we cross the road so we have to check both sides here in this video he is only looking on one side of the road let's see what happens. and some of the slides i am going to skip because the time is around the 8 3 so here two wheelers are for two only in kerala we can see so many two wheeler riders uh, with uh, through more than two passengers so so in most of the cases we used to conduct uh, each land uh, for all these vehicles we used to make each lands for all these vehicles so without uh, having helmet everything is there so that i will tell you i will show you one each land preparation i am going to skip all these things yes now only 10 minutes more that's why i am going to skip all these things so these are some of the offenses that we can see on the road this is a school vehicle so the rule behind this school vehicle is no one so seating capacity must be uh, allowed for the transport transport of the school students and don't be overloaded so each and every vehicle has its own gross vehicle weight more than that will be punishable you know the penalty for this overloading will be 20000 for the uh, detection of overload for each and every one additional 10 kilo, kilo uh, additional kilograms additional tons 1500 will be again charged that is a way of uh, taking cases in, in the case of overload cases and unauthorized use of lpg as fuel you can see the domestic lpg is used in this water russia and for this type of offenses we used to charge 5000 rupees as penalty again domestic uh, gas cylinder is used in a car again unauthorized alteration uh, 5000 rupees will be the charge unauthorized goods operation omnibuses this type of omnibuses are used for transporting passengers only but the registered owner or the driver is using this vehicle for transporting goods so that is an offense so unauthorized goods operation again it will be charged with a huge fine same thing happened here also this vehicle is a passenger vehicle and uh, here this vehicle is used for transporting cloth materials uh, another offense so same type of offense advertisement without sanction most of the goods carriages nowadays you can see so many types of advertisements or exhibited on on the vehicle and uh, for getting approval for this type of advertise, advertisement uh, they have to remit fee for this advertisement so uh, the rate for the advertisement will be considered uh, in square feet area um, a particular charge is there for one square meter or square feet so he has to or they have to remit that particular amount to the rto then only rto will give the permission to the vehicles 22 students i took this case 22 students in an auto how the driver is managed this vehicle is very dangerous look at the rear side view of the vehicle here also the driver has made one additional seat for sitting the students just behind the driver seat uh, this it is only it is also an uh, unauthorized alteration for uh, for this case again students the students were very happy at that time but if something happens it will become very dangerous again these are the offenses that we are capturing right students on lpg tank you see uh, total around 22 to 23 students were there in this vehicle at extreme rear side of the vehicle actually it was a dicky portion and normally if it is the vehicle is used as a lpg vehicle uh, is fitted with lpg tank just under the uh, students you can see uh, on the top of that lpg tank there is a table like that and on that table the students were sitting again very dangerous and for breath analyzer we are using motor vehicles department and police are using this type of breath analyzer for testing the alcohol content uh, while driving 
So the same cases will be taken against this. This is a vehicle called the interceptor. Uh, by using this vehicle, we can um, take over speed cases. Look at the inside portion of the vehicle and uh, computer arrangement, uh, camera positions, so many other facilities are also there in this vehicle. Um, by seeing from here, we can see the speed of the vehicle on the LCD monitor. After attending the predetermined, sorry, at specified speed limit, uh, the camera will be functioned. And that way we will take the case against the over speed vehicles. This is the interior portion of the vehicle. Right now, the regional transport offices are like this. Earlier, it was very um, crowded one. Files are dumped on uh, file that uh, cupboards, everything. Now, the system has been changed. Uh, fully digitalized offices are there right, right now. And touchscreen for getting the status of the application of the applicant. And there is a new trend in motor vehicles department by the introduction of Parivahan site. It's a new website used uh, for um, all the application purposes. Now it is termed as M Parivahan and Parivahan. M Parivahan is the mobile application version and parivahan.gov.in is the um, application website site. Let's see M Parivahan. You can download this M. Parivahan from Play Store and after downloading, installing, and you can see the dashboard like this. If you enter the RC number, registration certificate number, you can have all the details of the registered owner, then which RTO the vehicle has been registered, which class of vehicle, RC status, fuel used, then the validity of all the documents, registration date, fitness valid up to, insurance valid up to, tax valid up to, PUCC valid up to, uh, everything can be uh, seen by using this uh, M Parivahan mobile application version. Same way, license details can also be traced by using this M Parivahan application. So here, the new format of the license number has to be uh, entered. So the earlier format, if the license is issued by Trishur RTO, then license number may be eight bar something, then year. That was the way in the previous case. But right now, the system has been changed to new format. The license number has been changed to KL08, then year 2020, then seven digit number. That seven digit number is the license number. If you uh, put that particular register, sorry, license number here, you can see the details, including photo also. The photo of the driver, then name of the driver, then which class of the vehicle that he can drive, issue date, license validity up to everything, which RTO which has been issued. Then any Chalan uh, in the case of that license, that also you can see by clicking view Chalan. And here comes a new mobile application used by the offices of motor vehicles department as well as police department. And here is the login page of uh, mine. And, so I put, I enter my pass, password and when I log in, the dashboard will be like this. So here by using this HLAN, we can have each HLAN cases, new HLAN, offense history, search HLAN, summary, HLAN recovery, all these things are there as features. So I'm going to take one HLAN case right now, the sc uh, rec uh, screen record video uh, that can be seen over here. Just see, when I was working, when I was working in Trishur RTO, I was conducting road checking from Manuti to Palakkad Road. At that time, I was sitting on the car driver seat and driver was driving my vehicle. Uh, at the front of our vehicle, there was a motorbike. The driver was uh, uh, wearing helmet, but the rear seat uh, person was not wearing helmet. I took that case. Uh, you can see how I took that case. Uh, just open this HLAN mobile application. I will show you when the video progress. So I am going to take HLAN application. This is the uh, the new HLAN. Then take a photo of the person going in front of the vehicle. So without helmet, I am not going to stop the vehicle. And after to, after taking that photo, it has been uploaded automatically on the top. 
then it put the license, sorry registration number of the vehicle at that time uh, i i can see the number of the vehicle the vehicle is just friend of our vehicle so put the number and take the data from online and that is fetched from the website everything can be seen there then from where manuti the vehicle was moving from manuti to palakka direction that i have to enter now so select a violated type owner i didn't i didn't stop the vehicle i put no deal i didn't stop the driver i didn't see the license of the driver so not no deal then select the offense offense as a template just type hel you can have the list of cases with a helmet and select the particular case and submit that chalan you will get confirm chalan menu and confirm it then without payment i have not collected any payment from the person and submit it after submission just upload that offense in the website that also can be seen here yes after uploading that offense in the website parivahan and uh, the same thing can be uh, taken this each land same uh, case can be taken by stopping the vehicle also at that time we can see the driver license then put the license number then that license number will also be taken in the case and uh, if the officer is taking the case he can take the he can take the charge sheet by using a wifi printer that also you can see after stopping the vehicle and i put registration number license number everything and after making that case a charge sheet can be taken by using a wifi printer and that print just like a supermarket supermarket receipt we will hand over that charge sheet to the offender after taking that case an sms will be sent to the registered mobile number of the registered owner and that sms shows like this a chalan and chalan number issued against the particular registration number and the total chalan amount is 3000 rupees for more details click the link in which rto has, has, has taken this case that also you can see there if you open that link you can see the charge sheet in the mobile itself if you want you can take the print out of that uh, in this charge sheet everything will be there photo of the vehicle then date the vehicle was uh, going uh, from which place and going to which place everything is mentioned here in this then the offense details are mentioned offense charged with uh, one by one one two three four that way the offenses are listed here and which officer has taken this case also mentioned here and how we can close the chalan that also mentioned here in this chalan receipt the online charge sheet and after getting that online charge sheet the driver is or the offender is not going to remit the fine then after 15 or 13 day, 30 days the officer will send that case to virtual court another method virtual court so after considering that case in virtual court the magistrate in the virtual court uh, can log in into the website then when he approves that uh, offense another sms will be uh, sent to the uh, offender like this the message from vd court virtual courts traffic violations by your vehicle number and registration number of the vehicle will be there found actionable wide chala number then chala number will be there click a link is there for uh, seeing um, more details then pay fine rupees 1000 uh, or whatever may be the fine and by using that link he can see the offense again then he can remit the payment at that time also and uh, here we have so many uh, reports available in uh, each chalan uh, the reports are location wise report a night chalan report user wise report if the commissioner wants to take the report of mine he can take the report from tirvandura that way this is arranged a systematic way of arrangement of chalan status report and the chalans are seen in a just like a flow chart also like chalan history so i have i have taken first case this then second case this then third case this that way it has been arranged like this another um, website used in motor vehicles department is suraksha mitra 
it is based it is for getting the global position system gps system for the transport vehicles first most of the transport vehicles are fitted with the gps right now um, first uh, we introduced uh, this gps in uh, school vehicles then introduced in transport heavy vehicles goods vehicles then right recently we have introduced uh, this system in all the taxi vehicles the taxi car the tempo traveler everything and this is a case called a fast tag electronic toll collection in all the lmv vehicles not for the two wheelers uh, lmvs and above a mandatory fixing of this uh, fast tag it is based on the principle of radio frequency identification device okay i think almost the time is over uh, let me conclude this and uh, i have so many other slides also but we don't have enough time to complete all these things uh, 8:13 i have to stop right now the time is 8:19 i extend my sincere uh, thanks for the participants who are listening uh, my small uh, lecture based on the road safety thank you sir yenik Uh, thank you thank you sir uh, nandumar sir shall i take over yeah take over take over thank you thank you uh, uh, sri uh, vinod kumar sir uh, for uh, the enlightening session and uh, we could have spent hours uh, listening to you uh, we understand there is a limitation of time so quickly for the benefit of everyone uh, let us uh, go into few questions which is posted in the chat box sir if you would uh, answer a few of them uh, Sir, one question is by uh, Sri Narayan Mandu Kumar uh, himself. Uh, can we take uh, legally? Uh, can we legally prosecute the concerned state authority like PWD or NHAI for uh, creating mm -hmm. bad roads or poor road conditions? Pardon, pardon. Once more. The uh, the question is: Is it possible mm -hmm. to legally prosecute the concerned state concerned uh, authorities like PWD, mm -hmm. central authority mm -hmm. like NHAI for? Mm -hmm. uh, Poor road conditions because of which has an accident has occurred. So normally, right now, uh, there is a group of agencies, including PWD, uh, motor vehicles, police, uh, the National Highway, and one road safety council is also there for the for the state as well as for district. District road safety council, which includes collector, then police department. Uh, that collector means the revenue department. Then police department, motor vehicles department, PWD. Then in some some places, KSCB, BSNL, all these uh, uh, departments also included. Uh, they will they will consider all these um, construction works, everything uh, in once in three months. That is a normal practice that we are adopting right now. So there should be some. Coordination with all the departments, then only it will be uh, more efficient. Uh, sir, the the question specifically is: Is it possible to legally prosecute uh, someone uh, like NHAI or uh, the PWD? Uh, which type of offense you are mentioning? Prosecute means a road accident which has occurred due to a poor road condition. No, 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 no. We There's can't. We can't do that type of prosecutions are not uh, taken in any of the courts right now. In newspapers we can see, but in courts uh, we I have not heard about that type of cases. Okay, uh, sir. Another question uh, again, please, uh, Sri Nanda Kumar is: uh, Is a child permitted to travel by standing in front of a scooter leg space? Hmm. Is it no, it is not permitted. How it can be permitted? Okay, so sitting, we have sitting seen on, sitting only. Standing is not allowed. Okay, on a two wheeler, standing is not at all allowed. Not at all allowed. Okay. Uh, so when school buses yeah. also standing is not allowed. School buses only sitting is permitted. School buses also. Okay. Okay. I think uh, uh, practically it is not happening in many places. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, Sir Charles has a question. How much is the passenger capacity of our normal public transportation, like a local bus? And if there is a punishment for overload, I think you have mentioned something on goods vehicle, but. Uh, mm -hmm. So, actually, uh, as per law, that means as per the permit, seating capacity plus in city service buses, fifteen to twenty maximum standing. 
Okay, that is a normal uh, seating capacity plus uh, 15 to 20. Okay, for a, for even a public transport a bus? For, for all the public transport buses. Okay. But if it is more than that, that can be punishable. Okay. Uh, sir, I myself have a question. Uh, other than over speeding, uh, what mm -hmm. else uh, are the major causes of vehicle road accident which you, which you would have analyzed? Mm -hmm. Other than over speeding oh. is a major okay, cause because uh, almost uh, most of the cases, 50 to 60 percentage accidents are occurred only because of over speeding. Yes. Uh, another cases are uh, rash driving or without over speeding. Some some uh, drivers may take rash driving, so that can be considered as a uh, major case rash driving. Uh, left side overtaking. Most of the two wheelers are doing like that. Left side overtaking. So over speeding, Without, driving are the uh, speeding, rush, rush driving, left side overtaking. Um, without obeying line discipline. All these are major cause of accidents. So, sir, uh, can a public uh, or can a common man report a road safety violation? If it is possible, yes, is definitely, there, definitely. Of, is there an application or something for which we can? Yes, in Kerala, in Kerala, we have 14 enforcement RTOs are there. 14, one four. So okay. each district, each district has one uh, enforcement RTO. Just go through the website of Motor Vehicles Department, mvd.kerala.gov.in. You can have a list of enforcement RTOs and their WhatsApp numbers. Okay. Uh, you can upload offense or anything, photo, video, anything to that WhatsApp number. Great. Uh, sir, uh, how safe is the use of hands-free device for drivers such as a Bluetooth headset for a car or speaker? Is it legal in Kerala? Also, is it acceptable for for using mobile phone for navigation? Is it legal? Mm. For navigation purpose, it is permitted. But phone purpose, it is not permitted. Bluetooth. Over Bluetooth uh, is not permitted. Over Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Actually, the law says like that. A handheld device or any other communication device. That is the word. That these are the words used in that particular law handheld device or any other communication devices. So to make the things easier, uh, we have this uh, uh, technology in the cars uh, where you, you have uh, uh, the switches provided in the steering itself for easy take picking. Mm -hmm. ah, so but, uh, if, uh, uh, so after stopping the vehicle, he can use that Bluetooth device without taking the handheld device. Understood, understood. Uh, so one question I'm skipping. I think it is not relevant to safety. Uh, excuse me, uh, Sri Denny. The procedure for license renewal is it possible online through M31? Oh, yes, yes. And uh, here, right now, recently, we have selected so many services as faceless services. You need not go to RTO office directly. You need not submit any of the documents to RTO directly. So after applying online, uh, you will get the license at your doorstep by speed post. Okay. Online facility is there. The site name is parivahan.gov.in, where you can upload upload your medical certificate, eye certificate. You take eye certificate and medical certificate from an ophthalmologic doctor. And after getting that certificate, scan it and um, save it in a computer. Then. Log on to the parivahan.gov.in, then apply for uh, license renewal. Upload the documents that we have already uh, taken as a file. And uh, after su submission, you can remit the fees by, by online. And after that process, uh, the RTO will get a notification that uh, you have applied uh, license renewal. And the officer there concerned in the RTO office will approve that uh, particular application. And after taking printout, they will send it by post. Great, thanks. Uh, so a couple of more questions. Uh, is there a special license uh, required for forklift and trains, like industrial uh, vehicles? Mm. Oh, yes, yes. Available? Yes, so many other types of licenses are also available right now, like uh, excavator loader, forklift, then tractor trailer, uh, then um, what is called uh, for getting that 40 feet container, a trailer license is uh, there. Then uh, agricultural tractor, 
there are so many other types of licenses also apart from this motorcycle and lme okay. sir uh, so one question from mr menon what about car using car speaker for communication is it legal i think i can answer that question when the, once we, the vehicle is stopped yeah. yeah we can use the mm, that means bluetooth uh, using i think yeah uh, that is what yeah, he for is. communication purpose for communication means two way communication one way communication no problem but two way communication that is prohibited Okay. Clear, clear. Answer. Hearing a song, it is no, it is not. It is, there is no problem. But uh, voice communication, that just like a phone call, uh, that is punishable. So there is an interesting question: Is pollution certificate applicable in bus? Bus. Yes. Yes, it is applicable in all the vehicles. <laughs> so without having that pollution certificate. Uh, in parivahan side we can't remit the tax or we can't take the insurance certificate that is the way the software has been uh, created so it is mandatory for all the vehicles yes yes thank you thank you sir i think we have come to the close of uh, the questions in chat box uh, if at all anyone has uh, further questions uh, we can allow a couple of more questions so we have uh, still um, five minutes left uh, if someone can we need to ask something in person to sir Please uh, go ahead. I request NSE to unmute uh, the participants so that someone, if required, can ask any questions. Hello. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Good evening. Is there a, this is regarding the high beam lights which is using in the uh, night travels mm -hmm. uh, in the day uh, in the day uh, there will be mobile enforcement is there mvd is there but in the mm -hmm. night it is really traveling mm -hmm. high beam yes, lights sir. and extra fitting lights mm -hmm. then the projected headlamps it is making mm -hmm. the night miserable is there anything we can do it for so right now uh, we don't have any facility to catch that type of offenses uh, during night time but we have a plan to uh, install artificial intelligent cameras on the road junctions everywhere so there was a proposal last week we have considered that proposal so by uh, fixing that artificial intelligent cameras on the roads this type of cases can be taken very easily so within six months or one year, uh, we can expect that type of cameras. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, uh, quick question. Nowadays, road signals are removed and U-turn is preferred. Can you please give your comments on this? Nowhere, nowadays, road, road signals are removed and U-turns hmm. are preferred. Uh, do you have any uh, view or idea on this? No, where where you have seen that, uh, Mr. Menon? Can you elaborate uh, uh, in a better way over phone, please? Or over... Uh, hello, hello, sir. I'm audible. Mm. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Tell me, tell yeah. me. Tell uh, me. Sir, like, uh, can you uh, tell me that uh, particular uh, case? Uh, no, for example, you know, the Parayutam. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I, 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 I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So direct crossing has been stopped. That is a that is a problem, right? Yes, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah. So that, uh, you know, around 16 conflict points are there in a junction. <laughs> so merging, like a merging conflict, diverging conflict, then crossing conflict. Have you heard about conflict points? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So in order to reduce that conflict points, the junctions are rearranged like that, like preferred U-turn. So that the main intention is to reduce the conflict points in a junction. In Kakanada collected signal junction also, you can see like that. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, so uh, once again, many thanks to the participants for throwing uh, questions and uh, uh, the patient uh, answering of uh, Shivinod Kumar, sir. Uh, his uh, presentation so, today has... Uh, yes. So, so same way we are uh, going to conduct uh, classes for Tamil uh, drivers, eh? then uh, Hindi drivers. So I used to take classes in Hindi, Tamil and uh, English and Malayalam, four languages right now.
<laughs> great sir great uh, we from nsa wish uh, we can have a longer association with you and uh, you would uh, take some time of yours uh, for uh, uh, giving sessions through national safety council also uh, so uh, for formally uh, 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 delivering the vote of thanks i request uh, mr charles uh, he's available uh, to take over the session mr charles james yes sir thank you thank you uh, Good evening, everyone. It gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for this event, especially for the uh, road safety event. I would uh, like to thank Mr. Minod Kumar, uh, the Motor Vehicle Department Inspector of North Peru, uh, for sparing his valuable, valuable time to share the knowledge and experience he gained through his experience. As he emphasized, most of the accidents are due to the ignorance towards legislation and lack of development of road and am absence of inbuilt safety systems of vehicles, especially in the basic models. As we know, the last two parameters are out of our control. We can only ensure the safety on road by obeying the safety rules and regulations, which is provided by the motor vehicle department. The case studies and incident statistics and importance of road safety parameters will definitely change our behavior in our role. Once again, I thank you, sir, for your speech and sharing the updates in motor vehicle department. And moreover, I thank National Safety Council, Kerala Chapter, and HSC Forum for creating such a platform to enlighten our knowledge. And thank you, everyone, all the participants who had patiently given time to understand the importance of road safety and throwing the questions which has relevance to all to increase our knowledge thank you everyone thank you thank you charles uh, over to nayarnad kumar sir for any final words yes i think uh, thank you very much uh, mr vinod kumar i think uh, uh, very nice of you first of all I, uh, he was very busy uh, though he had agreed to uh, do the program uh, sudden restart of the normal activities I think the huge workload uh, came as a uh, problem for him. But in spite of that, without shirking his official responsibilities, after completing those responsibilities, he has come back in the evening at 7.30 to conduct this program. And it was very, very enlightening and very uh, uh, knowledgeable for all the participants that are here. Uh, very, very thank, uh, big thanks on behalf of NSC and HSC Forum. Thank you very much, sir. And to thanks to all the participants we meet tomorrow for the final uh, program on uh, HSC Forum's uh, webinar on safety. Uh, so look forward to meeting you again tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you all. And thank you, sir. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you all. The session is uh, uh, declared as closed. Thank you.